Hello folks, I'm back again. Uh, I forgot to do a signal to noise ratio test uh, in the last video and I'll just quickly do that now. I actually had to read up about it and how to do it. What you do is you do the normal setuping of uh, 0VU on the meters here and also 0VU on the PC screen using the, the level position. Now to do the noise I simply move the knob around to noise A at minus 40 dB. So we add minus 40 dB to anything that's uh, here like that's zero so that's minus 40 that's minus 50 and that's minus about 58. Now I've noticed that if I move the knob down to minus 20 it actually brings it within range and sure enough we go minus 40 minus 40 minus 20 so that's minus 60 onto zero so that's minus 60 there and that's minus 50 so that's minus 58 oh yeah 59 that's the left channel up there and the right channel here so our signal to noise is approximately 58 dB. Now that's with no Dolby. Let's try putting uh, Dolby B on. And quite an improvement. That's approximately, uh, let's say 60, 65 dB. Now let's try Dolby C. <laughs> Certainly noticeable. So that's minus 60, well let's say 68. Yeah, so 68 dB with Dolby C. Go back to no Dolby. And we're back up to minus 58 dB so that's how it's done very, very straightforward so the the general signal to noise is 58 dB with uh, Dolby B at 65 Dolby C at 68 I was expecting a a greater rise going to Dolby C because they claim usually about 10 dB extra but Nonetheless, that's still uh, still an improvement, and uh, I'm using a TDK SAC90 tape from uh, a long time ago. Okay, that's it. Job finished. Bye.